Welcome, welcome. Oh, we're gonna get to the part where I love because I need to learn more about this. I'm usually doing this job here, chef, and that means I don't spend time with my guests. I really would like to spend more time with my guests. Please put me on some game as far as searing. Yeah, I would, this is a reverse sear method. Okay. I teach it to all our guests. Um, they wanna spend some time with their guests in their home or with this, just their family and themselves. So a cut like this, quite large, could look a little daunting to people. This is a cowboy ribeye. Oh. This is about two pounds right here. This will feed three people easily. Four if you're a little bit of light eater or you and I, we could probably eat this together. One Hawaiian. Yeah. <laughs> One Hawaiian, brother. So ultimately, you're gonna bake it in an oven on a sheet like this. So okay, this is a- I, Okay, that's that's new to me. Yes, yes. Explain. Okay, so 180 degrees Fahrenheit in your oven on a cookie cooling rack or resting rack, whatever you deem it as. Okay. Uh, that way you're getting airflow all around the meat. The meat's not just sitting on gotcha. a flat piece of metal. You're gonna bake it in your oven. I olive oil, salt, pepper, rub it down, okay? okay? Put it in your oven. 75 minutes later, it comes out sits on your counter. You don't have to rush to a pan. You can either sear it hot in a pan, or if you want to get out on your grill and turn on your grill and get outside, go ahead and do it that way too. Now my mom, when she used to cook for us, she would have these techniques on, on her hand, yes. and she would teach us that. Yeah. Uh, nowadays, because of everything, the way things are changing, everybody has a thermometer. Is, please, can you, can you hook us up with some techniques? Thermometer. Therm <laughs> I was hoping for some just, you got to get really, really close and smell. You can sit here and do this all day long, but I tell you what, even the greats in France and three-star okay. Michelin, they shove one of these in so there. So you're just saying my mom was just showing off to me. No, she was, doing, she was doing the old technique, <laughs> which we used to do that. We used to go, oh, this is well done, medium rare, rare, right? Um, I think the modernized method is so much better. Sorry. Yep. Yeah. I, so, lo I love that caramelization. Yeah. So that was uh, two minutes, 30 seconds on that side, okay. two minutes, 30 on the other and this will come out perfectly rare. Now, I've often heard chefs like yourself, when they give us instructions, when you bring it out of the oven, you let it rest. Yes. What is the whole purpose of that if we don't already know? So, uh, from a science perspective, think about water molecules bouncing all over the place, right? They've hit that 212 degrees internal temperature, steam creates, so they're trying to get out. You've seared it, so now it can't get out. So all you're trying to do is let that steam kind of rest and the blood come back into the gotcha. center of the meat. Instead of when you cut it, we cut it right now, it's just gonna bleed all over the plate. Yeah, so can, can what what is it at right now? Rare, medium, rare? That's rare right now. That's rare right now? Right now, that'll be rare. And then it will rest it for just a few minutes. Uh, it'll be TV time, right? We're gonna speed this <laughs> up really fast. But typically you wanna rest your meat about seven to 10 minutes after you cook it. Right. Are we able to cut it now? Can we show? Oh yeah, we can okay, get let's, in there let's and cut it right now. We got now. like 30 seconds left here. I'm gonna switch oh, sides Oh yeah, with we're you. gonna switch. Let's, I'm gonna show them what's drop up. This. Uh, while you're cutting, would you mind giving us your physical address so people can walk in tonight yeah. for dinner if they want? Yeah, it's 1177 Center Drive. Uh, oh, that's man. in Park City, Utah. We are uh, closed on Mondays and Tuesday through Saturday, 10 to 6, and Sundays 11 to 4. Oh, my gosh. Now, you have not been flirting with me, but I'm in love. I'm just saying, bro. Look at that. Chris, you want to come over? Come, come, man. Oh, come man. on. Now. Let's grab a slice, man. Oh, my goodness. Give, cut me a piece. Cut me a piece, chef. Yeah, I couldn't stay over there. No, I just no. kept smelling it. It looked so good. I literally saw you float in the air oh, like the old cartoons. Get in there. Right. Right. You like that carving set, New West Knives? Mm -hmm. They're awesome. Yeah. All right. Website for more information so we can get uh, reservations. Come up and visit you. Yeah. ChopShopParkCity.com. I'm going. We're going to put a link on the website, Fox13Now.com. Don't forget to click on the place. If you want to elevate your food, Go up to Park City. Chop Shop Park City. Let's go. Oh, Look at that. Hey! Oh, <laughs> my man, Johnny. Bye, guys. We got more. Let's go. Oh, I want some more. Oh, I got a little fat.